Western Mass News is digging deeper into that ongoing hiring drought and its impact on schools. During the first part of our investigative series, Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis is getting answers on the bus driver shortage that's leaving some parents frustrated. She's like sweating. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, the bus takes two hours. Passes our street, goes through town, comes back. Two hours is the time it takes for Johnson's daughter to come home from school. He says pre-pandemic, at most, it would take an hour on his daughter's bus route coming from East Long Meadow to Springfield. Probably two or three buses are doing that route, you know, where now it's one, you know, definitely a cutback. The cutback is impacting how long Johnson's daughter is on the bus. Western Mass News is digging deeper. We drove around to some bus routes in Western Mass. We found one mom in Holyoke who has to shift her work schedule to accommodate her daughter's bus schedule. Definitely just like irregularities in the schedule, like by like 30 minute margins. Sasha Jimenez's daughter goes to Hampton Charter School of Science West. She tells us she has to block out an hour to ensure she can pick up her daughter. Between 3 and 4 o'clock, I don't have anything scheduled. So, like, I'm here at, like, 3.15 because the bus could come 30 minutes early. Um, so just trying to, like, gauge, you know, what time. We reached out to both school districts and the bus companies for a response. They did not get back to us at the time this aired. Over at Holyoke Public Schools, they were facing bus driver shortages back in September. At one point they said, you know, we can't really, we can't do this in a timely fashion. Um, we're going to need some more time until we can hire some, some drivers. Holyoke Superintendent Anthony Soto tells Western Mass News they needed extra help from the National Guard due to a bus driver shortage. Six National Guard members are driving Vanpool buses for six different routes. The CEO of Vanpool tells Western Mass News the National Guard won't be needed till the end of the year to assist Holyoke. This is a, a short-term uh, remedy, uh, we believe, uh, between October 24th up to maybe uh, uh, November 5th. Uh, the National Guard will be assisting transporting those kids. The Vanpool company in total needed 250 National Guard members to support Vanpool across the Bay State. But the reason they're able to get many civilian drivers so quickly is because of federal unemployment benefits ending. After September 6, after the extended benefits stopped, we saw an uptick uh, in people replying to these ads. John McCarthy, the CEO of NRT Bus, who partners with Vanpool, tells Western Mass News they were able to test 100 new drivers the first Saturday in October, which he says will relieve the stress off of the National Guard this time around with tests that could be taken in English and Spanish. After the federal unemployment ended, Vanpool and NRT received 498 driver applications since the beginning of September. Of that number, they hired 170. Many companies wish they could turn on a faucet and get flooded with potential applicants. Now tune into part two of Western Mass News' Investigate series on November 1st. We dig into ER wait times and we speak with one patient who was in the ER for 12 hours. In studio, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.